Well, look who's back with us, New York Post columnist and author Miranda Devine. Miranda, it's so good to see you again. Okay, Miranda, break this down for us. Big turnout for former President Trump's rally in Pennsylvania Saturday night. New York Times reports voters are nostalgic for Trump. They liked his economy. But now Manhattan prosecutors may want to slam Trump with contempt of court for speaking out against the hush money trial that started today. What do you think, Miranda? Hi, Liz. Well, look, those two things are linked. President Trump's popularity, um, the sort of rose-coloured glasses people now have because they realise how dreadful Biden is and that he's not the man he pretended to be during the campaign. Uh, and so they're looking anew at President Trump and thinking they like what they see. And therefore, the Democrats, they can't change their candidate. So they're trying to destroy this one. And look, I mean, uh, it's a very difficult situation that uh, Trump finds himself in, and the Alvin Bragg case is just the beginning of it. You know, it's interesting to what you're saying. The Times Siena poll, half of voters say things are better under Trump versus something like 39 percent before the 2020 election. You know what, Miranda, let's get your reaction to Trump at his rally in Pennsylvania. Watch this. We're going to defeat crooked Joe Biden and we're going to make America great again. We will return the world to peace through strength. Everything he touches turns to True. That's true. Under Biden, gasoline prices are up over 50 percent and electricity prices are up 39 percent, rising 13 times faster than under the previous — think of that — 13 times faster than under the previous seven years. When I'm back in the White House, we will end Joe Biden's inflation train wreck and we will tell Pennsylvania, drill, baby, drill, get back to drilling. Drill, baby, drill. What do you think, Miranda? Yeah. Well, look, uh, he's on a winning ticket there because uh, you, if you look at the polls, not just this latest one, but all of them, on the economy, Joe Biden is really underwater. The latest one, 80 percent of American voters are saying that they're not happy with the economy and they're not happy with the gaslighting that's coming from the White House, where Joe Biden keeps on saying, oh, look, inflation, I've got it under control. No, he hasn't. It just has. It's just cumulative, obviously. And we've just seen 3.5 percent increase in inflation annualized. And so uh, that's on top of, you know, 9 percent previously. So uh, people feel it in their hip pockets. They see it when they go to the grocery store. They see it when they go to the gas pump. Uh, he can't gaslight because we see it ourselves. And I think the disillusionment that has come from the lies and the gaslight from the from the White House is what hurts. Yeah, so now the debate is over whether Biden is going to sit down for a debate with Trump. Let's watch this. Trump would destroy, destroy him in a live debate. He would, destroy him? He would him, destroy Biden think. in a live debate. I, I've got no... I mean, how many live press conferences has Joe Biden oh. done? Right? Well, yeah, that's I true. I mean, there's a reason they don't put him in front of a large gathering of the media right. for a sustained period of time taking questions. Right. There's a reason. What do you think? Are they going to debate? Look, I just don't like underestimating Joe Biden. I know we look at him and he looks like he's a completely feeble person, but he, he's done this t before. You know, in the last... In 2020, in those debates, he, he actually performed pretty well. So I wouldn't be getting too far ahead of ourselves. Got it. Big debate whether they may happen, but, you know, you're saying they probably will and Biden may pull it together. Miranda Devine, thank you so much. It's good to have you on. It's good to see you.